Good day, everyone. So, our topic for this week is conic sections. By the way, I'm your uh, professor for this uh, this week. And for uh, week 7, I'm Ernesto Mini Jr., a registered civil engineer at the same time, a registered master plumber, and also a materials engineer one. Okay, so let's get started. So we will first discuss the species of a conic. So the general equation of a conic is uh, given by this equation here, which is uh, ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero. So the, discrim the discriminant of a conic is discriminant is equal to b squared minus or ac. So I think you are familiar with this. So in here, we have these uh, three conics, the ellipse, the parabola, and hyperbola. So with the given uh, general equation of a conic, and when you identify the discriminant, uh, you will immediately know what type of conic it is. So in here, if the eccentricity is less than 1, then your conic is an ellipse. So when your eccentricity is equal to 1, then your conic is a parabola. Then if your eccentricity is greater than 1, then your conic is a hyperbola. Uh, in here, the same with uh, the eccentricity. So if the discriminant is less than 0, then your conic is an ellipse. Then when your discriminant is equal to 0, then your conic is a parabola. Then your if your discriminant is greater than zero, then your conic is a hyperbola. Next, so a circle is a locus of a point uh, which moves so that its distance from a fixed point center is constant, which is equal to the radius of a circle. So meaning, guys, so if you have this circle here, so your circle is consists of points okay so that is consists of points but this point should should have a constant distance okay and that distance is the radius okay so from this center so to this locus of points so dapat ang distance natin dyan is distance r okay so the reduced general equation of a conic with b is equal to 0 is this okay so therefore this is the general equation of a circle so very in that is equal to ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0 okay so for this conic the axis of uh, r parallel to the coordinate axis okay so we have this standard equation of a circle here with center at any point h and k okay so with the same with our example here okay so the center is a point h k okay so this will be our standard equation of a circle which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared okay which is the radius then how about if your center is at 0, 0, okay? Or your center is in here, okay? So what if, what if, so say you have this here, so C of 0, 0, so nandiyan, okay? Nandiyan yung center nyo. So therefore, just simply eliminate H, N, and K, so you have uh, X squared plus Y squared is equal to R squared as your standard equation. So because uh, for a circle, take note that A is equal to C. So this is from your general equation. Okay, so dividing through the, the equation. Okay, so if you divide AX squared plus C Y squared plus DX plus DY plus F is equal to 0 with A. So this, this will uh, happen. Okay, so the general equation will be reduced in this form uh, wherein it will be equal to x squared plus y squared 
plus d plus dx so small d so small d is equal to the big d over a then while e is equal to the big e over a then uh, small f is equal to the big f over a okay and this is the reduced general form of of equation of a circle with okay so meaning uh, if you reduce the general form of equation of the circle then you can automatically get the center okay so h and k and also the diameter or the radius of the circle given by this formula here okay so take note of this formula if you wanted to directly get your center and radius so also we have this radical axis here so the radical axis ra of a circle is any one of the following cases so first one is the common chord of uh, two intersecting circles or the line through the points of intersection so this line here okay so this is your uh, radical axis so this is their uh, common chord okay the common chord of the two uh two circle okay so we will denote this as radical axis second case is the common tangent between two circles okay so this line so we can denote this as radical axis and lastly is the perpendicular bisector of the net distance between uh, two circles so meaning if you have these two circles here so this is the net distance between the two circles so if the line if that line uh, bisects perpendicular with this distance here with this net distance then we can consider that as our radical axis okay so stand by sa part 2 natin for our examples